Women, have you had your hormones checked? It's actually very common for women, even in your 20s and 30s, to have low testosterone. Hey ladies, Mrs. TRT Veteran here. We're going to be talking about testosterone in women. Low testosterone isn't just for men or for women in menopause, it's for women of all ages, even young women in your 20s and 30s. When I first started looking into this topic, all I found was information on women in their 50s and 60s that were in menopause or on women that were transitioning into men. I couldn't really find any information on low T in women that were young like myself. By talking to other women online, I found out it is pretty common nowadays for young women to have low T. It's just not really talked about that often, until now. Symptoms may start slowly, you may not realize it until all the symptoms build up and you start feeling really badly. It's not all about low libido. I know when you think about low testosterone, that's probably the main thing that you think of. but. Men, if you're listening to this for your wives, don't worry, we will get into that information a little bit later. There are so many different symptoms for low testosterone in women, so we broke this up into several sections. The first one is physical symptoms. They include belly fat, weight gain, fatigue, no energy, migraines, decreased stamina in all areas, not just with exercise, lack of strength and balance, loss of skin tone, loss of muscle mass, osteoporosis. And here's an article from PubMed talking about testosterone therapy treating all of these symptoms. And here's also an article from PubMed talking about testosterone and how it's so important for bone health. The next set of symptoms are pain symptoms. They include arthritis and joint pain. Testosterone actually helps make synovial fluid in your joints. Chronic pain can actually decrease testosterone. And then people that take pain meds, like opioids, those medications actually decrease testosterone as well. The next set of symptoms are sexual symptoms. They include disinterested in sex, avoiding intimacy, lack of feeling, or even unable to orgasm, painful intercourse, vaginal dryness, and urinary incontinence, Studies show that premenopausal women have improvement in their sex life and their well-being when they're on testosterone therapy. But you don't need science to tell you this. If you talk to women online in Facebook groups, they are very happy to report that their sex life is improving once they've started testosterone therapy. I found a study back in 1999. Women were polled and it was reported that the proportion of women in the United States between the ages of 18 and 59, there was 43% in sexual dysfunction. However, because little attention has been paid publicly to female sexual dysfunction, this area has remained neglected. I mean, how many different pills and treatments are there for men with ED? There are whole doctors devoted to the treatment of that. What about women? So far, it seems like the big treatment is raising testosterone levels. There's not a whole lot more information on that right now. We know that testosterone strengthens muscles, but it also appears to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles. There's actually a study currently going on that's looking at testosterone treatment to improve women's pelvic floor muscles. They want to see if it helps with the structure and the function to help prevent urinary incontinence. The results aren't in yet, but it looks promising. And I've seen other women talk about this online, that testosterone does help with their urinary incontinence. The next set of symptoms are mood and mental health symptoms. They include low self-esteem, bad body image, loss of identity, depression, mood swings, brain fog, insomnia, generally not happy about life, anxiety, no motivation, and high stress. Those things can tear relationships apart. There are so many different diagnoses and prescriptions that could be written to help with those, and that's kind of what doctors want to do. They just try to prescribe an anxiety medication or a depression medication, but really, they need to be looking at hormones. They should be testing your hormones and your testosterone, because that could help with all of those symptoms. Testosterone for women may be considered controversial because usually you think of testosterone as something that just men have, but it is very important for women. Women actually have three times the amount of testosterone than estrogen in their body. 
So testosterone is so important. Another interesting thing is one in 10 premenopausal women have something called hypoactive sexual desire disorder also called HSDD. It's when you're not interested in sex or you have a low sex drive or no sex drive at all. It's actually one of the most common sexual problems that people have. And studies show that testosterone treatment can actually help these women. You may wonder, how did I wind up with low testosterone? There are so many different ways you could have gotten it. In our last video, we talk about birth control. Birth control is well known to raise your estrogen and lower your testosterone. So if you've taken birth control at all in your life, then that could be the reason for your low testosterone. Corticosteroids have also been known to lower your testosterone. Also having children. The more children you have, the more likely your hormones are messed up and especially your testosterone. If you've went through menopause or had a surgical menopause, most likely your hormones are messed up and you need testosterone. Testosterone levels naturally go down over time, but if you're menopausal or if you've had surgical menopause, which is the removal of your ovaries, then your testosterone levels have dropped by 50% or more. Some women are low on all their female hormones, testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone, but it is pretty common for young women in their 20s and 30s to just be low on testosterone, and that's how I am. You may be thinking, I have a lot of these symptoms of low testosterone but you don't really know for sure until you get your labs done. Speaking of labs, you don't wanna have just normal levels when you get your labs done. You wanna have optimal. Normal lab standards say women's testosterone should be between eight and 60. But from talking to women online and from talking to hormone specialists, women seem to feel best if their testosterone is between 75 and 150. But that all depends on the woman because some women may like their testosterone level even higher than that. Personally, the symptoms I had were I felt stressed out all the time. I blamed it on the kids, but really testosterone was partially to blame for the extra stress I had. I would get angry easily over little things. I would acknowledge that I shouldn't be so mad over something, but I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't settle down at night. I would be so stressed that I was just going, 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 and I could not settle my mind down at night to be able to rest. My libido was okay, but it turns out I did have lack of feeling. It wasn't something I even knew I had a problem with because that's just how I was for pretty much my whole adult life. But it turns out when I had went on the birth control pill at age 16, it messed up my hormones and they never got to regulate. So my body wasn't the way it was supposed to be. But after starting testosterone, these symptoms started clearing up. Bioidentical hormone replacement therapy can be great for women that are transitioning through different stages of their life. Synthetic hormones can cause some side effects. Now your normal doctor, your general practitioner, or your local gynecologist, they most likely will prescribe the synthetic type of hormones. And those in studies show that they have a lot more side effects. So you want to look for a doctor that will prescribe to you the bioidentical hormones. You may not be able to find that locally. You may have to go to a telemed doctor to be able to get that type of medication. That's what I had to do. I highly recommend women of any age that have any of the symptoms I discussed to get their labs done and get extensive labs done. If your provider won't listen to you or won't do the proper tests or do the proper treatments, then I suggest that you look elsewhere. You could go with a telemed provider like my husband and I have had to do. We both use Matrix Hormones. Their website is matrixhormones.com. If you do decide to go that route, make sure that you give the discount code TRTVETERAN because you'll get a lot of savings on your treatment. Don't forget to subscribe here for more hormone information. You can also check out our Facebook group and Instagram. Bye.